We're here on the red carpet at the San Diego Movie Awards, and I'm talking to this very gifted and talented actor and producer, right? And writer. And writer. Director. Triple threat. Well, actually, quadruple threat, because she's also the writer, producer, director, and actor, Donna Magnani. Very good. Donna Magnani. It just rolls off my tongue, right? <laughs> and the name of her film is In Shreds. In Shreds. Donna, tell me a little bit about the film and the inspiration for it. Well, the film uh, was made in three days. Um, it's about a love affair with her husband for 40 years. It's about an old dress that's 40 years old. And it's about love and loss and um, trying to find her way back to hope. So usually I'm a more comedic, but this one uh, really it was based loosely on a true story in my life. So really comes from the heart. Well, yes. So, yes. So I lost, I lost um, somebody uh, in my life, um, was killed, and, um, and I have that dress. So we made this in three days. And, uh, That's quite a feat. Yes, very much so. I'm still exhausted. So you're nominated for two categories. One of them is first-time filmmaker, best first-time yes. film. Yes, first-time filmmaker and, and best Female filmmaker. That's a particularly, uh, I don't know, impressive distinction because to be able to do this as a first time project, a lot of people would be daunted by that. All the stuff that you don't know that's coming at you right. from the producer side and the director side. I've been in front of the camera for about 40 years. So um, I've done quite a bit of work in front of the camera, but I had no idea what it took behind the scenes. What was the most surprising thing about doing it from the other side of the camera? Just that if you want it done, you got to do it yourself. You got If you have a vision you and it's not happening, you got to get out there and you got to make it happen at all costs. I ran around all over Orange County trying to get uh, locations and donations and food and coffee and cameras and yeah I just you must have been very persuasive <laughs> I was oh my favorite was that I got a uh, I got a uh, a thrift shop to give me the thrift shop close it down and give it to me for eight hours is that San Clemente yeah the bargain box awesome so and I even put two of the ladies that work there that volunteer there they're in the movie what would you say to other actors who say yeah one day I want to direct my own film what would be the advice you would give to them? Well, just start. Start right now. Take your cell phone. If you see something, try not to get um, influenced, if you will, by the Instagram, the, the immediacy, the posting quick. Keep things private. Keep things to the chest a little bit more. And think of a little story, even if it's for five minutes or three minutes, something that has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it could be something as like the beautiful building we're looking at. Where did that, you know, what's the history there? And who's walked in that building? So that's where I would like to see young filmmakers. That's what I still do. I will look around and say, there's a story over there. And I want to find out what's going on. So this was your first film already nominated here at the San Diego Movie Awards. Do you have a second film in mind? Uh, I do. I have a few in my mind. I'm going to go off and do... Um, a film uh, in Georgia and Florida soon, a big film, with a lot of names that I can't pronounce, a lot of wrestlers and NFL guys. So I get to do a comedy role on that one, so that'll be nice. And I'm working on, I'm reading a script right now that's a period piece that I may direct. So, Thank you. You're keeping very busy. Thank well, you. congratulations. Her film is in shreds. It's been nominated in two categories, including Best Female Filmmaker. Thank you so much. Congratulations and best of luck. Thank you.